Hello, today I'm going to be reading The Magic School Bus Rides Again Satellite Space Mission. Chapter 1 Soccer Slip Up. Miss Frizzle's class was just one point away from a win in their big soccer game. Kesha was in goal, and Jody was playing defense. The soccer ball soared through the net. Kesha! Jody shouted. Kesha, heads up! But Kesha wasn't paying attention to the game. She was staring at the papers in her hand. Jody jumped in the air and knocked the ball away from the goal with a roundhouse kick. The crowd cheered. What a save! Wanda yelled into her announcer's microphone, but not by the Walkerville Wildcat goalie. It looks like she's distracted by paperwork? Kesha was staring at a piece of paper instead of staring at the ball. Thanks, Jody, Kesha said. I didn't even see that one coming. No problem, Jody said. Meanwhile, Carlos had the ball. He dribbled down the field and passed it to Dorothy Ann. Then Dorothy Ann kicked the ball to Ralphie, who launched it into the net. Goal! The referee blew his whistle to end the game. The Walkerville Wildcats win, Wanda shouted into the announcer's microphone. That was some really amazing teamwork. They'll play again tomorrow for a shot at winning the Frizzle Cup, which will be broadcast around the world. The team gathered in the middle of the field. Ralphie high-fived Dorothy Ann. Great game, Jody said. Kesha turned to her teammates. Sorry, guys, she told them. I should have been paying attention back there, but I've been so distracted by my application to astronaut camp, everyone shouted. Oh, have I mentioned it already, Kesha asked. Maybe once or twice, Tim began. A minute, Carlos chimed. For the last week, Ralphie finished. I know, I know, Kesha said. She shrugged, but astronaut camp is my ticket to my dream, a career in space. And a distracted goalie is our ticket to defeat, Ralphie groaned. The team had to win the next game to move on to the finals. Don't worry, Jody said. Kesha will have her head in the game tomorrow, I promise. Really? Dorothy Ann asked. How? I'm going to help her finish her astronaut camp application, Jody said proudly. She was a whiz with technology, and she had a great idea of how we could help Kesha earn a spot in camp. Okay, Kesha agreed, but it won't be easy. I still need something extra special, something that really shows them how great I would be in space. How about a selfie in space? Jody asked. Huh? Wanda asked. How are you going to do that? You'll see, said Jody. Chapter 2 Lift Off. Jody and Kesha were waiting for science class to start when Jody pulled out her tablet and launched her photo app. This will make it look like you were in space. Which planet or planets or stars do you want in the background? Jody asked as she swiped through the app's choices. Hmm. I don't know, Kesha said. Before she could say another word, the class was interrupted. In walked their teacher, Miss Fiona Frizzle. She was wearing a space suit and, a, and bouncing a soccer ball on her knee. Miss Frizzle removed her helmet. She had just returned from space. Nothing like playing soccer in zero gravity to get the blood pumping. I just kicked the, the ball through Saturn's rings. Suddenly, Wanda burst through the door, looking worried. Miss Frizzle, she cried, we have a problem. If someone or something needed saving, Wanda was going to be the one to help. Okay, Wanda, shoot. Miss Frizzle replied with a chuckle. Did you get my soccer joke? I cracked myself up. It's the Frizz TV Broadcast Network, Wanda cried. The whole network is off the air. The Frizzcast 
is on the Fritz? Miss Fritzel asked. Wanda nodded. That means there will be kids all over the world who can't watch the Frizzle Cup games this afternoon. That sounds like a problem with a Frizznet satellite, Miss Frizzle replied. Satellite? Ralphie asked. What's that? Dorothy Ann prided herself on having an answer for everything. Satellites are objects that have been put in Earth's orbit for some reason, she explained. In this case, they're used for broadcasting soccer games. That's right, Miss Frizzle agreed. My network of Frizz sats, sats is in orbit all around the globe. Sounds like we should go up there and see what's going on. Up there? Kesha asked excitedly. You mean to space? You got it, Kesha, said Miss Frizzle. Yes, Kesha pumped her fist. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to the bus. I couldn't have said it better myself, Miss Frizzle agreed. Miss Frizzle was definitely not an average teacher. She loved taking her students on unbelievable field trips on her magic school bus. And this time, it looked like they were going to outer space. The class ran out of the classroom and headed to the bus. This is so perfect, Jody. Kesha said. Now we can actually take a picture in space instead of just using the app. Jody frowned. But I thought you were going to check the satellites so we can get the game broadcast working, she said. Of course, Kesha said. But we can also take my picture in space. Here we go, kids, Miss Frizzle said. Prepare your pressure suits. Soon, we'll have liftoff. Arnold groaned and pulled his seatbelt as tight as he could. Arnold preferred learning in the classroom to flying through space in a magic bus. Maybe I should have stayed home today, he groaned. Don't worry, Arnold. According to my calculations, we'll be perfectly safe, said Dorothy Ann. As Dorothy Ann spoke, the school bus magically transformed into a rocket. Hang on, kids, Miss Frizzle warned. We're going for a ride. Yay, the class cried. A field trip. Three, two, one, lift off. Miss Frizzle shouted as the bus blasted through a layer of clouds. Amazing, Carlos said as he peered out the window. Where are we going? Straight up, Wanda replied with a laugh. Not for long, Kesha corrected her as the bus rocketed Rocket accelerated through the clouds and made an arc. Whoa, Carlos said to Kesha impressed. How do you know that? If you want to go to astronaut camp, you have to know these things, Kesha said. The kids pressed their faces to the window as the blue sky faded into black space, dotted with millions of twinkling stars. No way, Dorothy Ann cried breathlessly. More stars than you can count. So awesome, Ralphie said. Are we in orbit yet, Miss Frizzle? Kesha asked. Yes, Kesha, the Frizz replied. I think we are. Then she pulled a lever and the engine stopped. Suddenly, the bus became eerily quiet. Turn it back on, Arnold cried. What's wrong? Why did you stop the engines? Chapter 3. Orbit, orbit Experts. The kids began to float out of their seats. Ralphie's hat flew off his head and tumbled through the air. What's going on? Arnold gasped. We're in space, Kesha cheered. That's right, Kesha, the frizz replied. We are now in low orbit around Earth. What does that mean? Arnold groaned means now that the bus is at the right speed and height above Earth, we don't need the engines anymore, Ralphie explained as they floated out of their seats. There's barely any atmosphere to slow us down, so we can just coast in orbit. Yeah, well, I'm not taking any chances, Arnold said. He made his way back to his seat and buckled his seatbelt. What are you doing, Arnold? 
Jody asked, confused. No engines, Arnold replied frantically. That means any second now we could fall back down to our doom. Not quite, Arnold, Miss Frizzle said. Being in orbit is a perfect balance. We're circling at a speed that's just fast enough to resist Earth's gravity. If we went too slow, we would be pulled down. But if we speed up too much, we could fly off into space, Kesha said, pointing to the projection screen on the bus. She had been studying a space a lot to prepare for astronaut camp. Explain it all you want, Arnold, Arnold replied. I'm not taking off my seatbelt until we get home. Hey, Jody yelled, pointing out the window at a huge piece of equipment floating by. I think I just spotted a satellite. Good eye, Jody, Miss Frizzle said. Buckle up, kids. It's time to get to a higher orbit. As the kids tightened their seatbelts, Miss Frizzle fired up the rocket boosters. Wait. Kesha gasped, gasped suddenly. Stop, now! The frizz put on the brakes and stopped the bus. What is it? Wanda asked. You'll see in a second, Kesha said. Jody, grab my camera, quick! Arnold stayed put. The rest of the class unbuckled their belts and floated toward Kesha. Jody grabbed the camera. Kesha pointed out the window and down toward Earth. Look down there, she said with a squeal. It's the exact place where they hold an astronaut camp. It's perfect for my application. She posed for the camera. Okay, Jody, Kesha continued. I'm ready for my close-up. Space cheese! You stopped us for that? Tim asked. But before Kesha could reply, something hit the bus with a giant thud. The kids bounced around that bus like soccer balls in a net. Ah, they shouted as they bumped into one another. What, what, what was that? Arnold gasped. 